Do you know that on a typical day in school, teachers ask as many as 400 questions? Questioning is considered the most influential single teaching act. Questions have the power to impact student thinking and learning. So what are the characteristics of quality questions and what can you do to produce them? 1. Quality questions are concise and clear. Keep your questions short and to the point so that you can direct students' attention to the question's intent. Also, identify language that is not accessible to students. Using language that students can easily understand increases their motivation to respond to it. So you can make this question more concise and clear. Like this, Peter said the main character in the story is to blame for all that has happened. What do you think? 2. Quality questions have a clear content focus. Pose questions that are focused on helping students achieve the learning objectives. For example, if the objective of your lesson is to encourage students to use the meta-language of English when talking about how they use the language, it may be less useful to ask, how would you describe what Peter is doing here, than to ask, what saying verb would you use to describe what Peter is doing here? 3. Quality questions provide direction and structure for the lesson. At the start of a lesson, pose a question that helps students make links with what they already know. This can help students to think about what follow-up questions they can ask themselves. And when students ask questions, you can help them probe deeper into the topic through further questioning. For example, if an advertisement makes the following claim, Leading dentists recommend this brand of toothpaste over all others. Ask students a series of questions that prompt thinking, such as, What techniques do advertisers use to appeal to their audience? How are these techniques used in this advertisement? What claims are these techniques used to make in this advertisement? You can use these questions to lead up to one that is central to the lesson. What is the truth and accuracy of these claims? Such a question prompts the students themselves to think about further questions. How many leading dentists have recommended this brand? To what extent are the different brands of toothpaste really different? Our questions should enable our students to become more self-directed as learners and more discerning as consumers of information. 4. Quality questions engage students at various cognitive levels. Ask students a range of questions that encourage them to process their thoughts at various cognitive levels. Using Benjamin Bloom's taxonomy of the cognitive domain, you can ensure that your questions do not all fall into one cognitive level only. Notice how our questions about advertisements will encourage students to process their thoughts at the levels of remembering, understanding, applying, analyzing, evaluating, creating. So here's a quick reminder of the four characteristics of quality questions. They are concise and clear. They have a clear content focus. They provide direction and structure for the lesson. They engage students at various cognitive levels.